Today, I want to talk about this topic on perfectionism and how do you manage it if you are a perfectionist. I used to be a perfectionist ever since I was a kid. And even back in my corporate years, being a freelance copywriter, until now as a coach, I do have this old habit as well. But over the years, I tend to realize that sometimes being too perfect doesn't lead me to anywhere because that word perfect doesn't exist at all. And how do you determine that it is perfect? So it gradually shifted my mindsets to eliminate perfectionism in me. Because as you know, being a perfectionist, you always feel that you are not good enough. Even people compliment you that, oh, you are so talented in doing all these things. And in your mind, you always think that I can do better than this. And sometimes you have a very high expectations about how things should look like in a certain way. So as a perfectionist, if the results doesn't turn out to what you expected, you will feel very disappointed because to you, it is deemed as failure. In this video, I'm going to share with you five ways of how to manage perfectionism so that you can gradually shift your mindset in achieving your goal. The first way is you can focus on the meaning of why you want to do things in this certain way instead of being perfect how things should look in a certain way because by focusing on your meaning which is the why it can help to boost your motivation and the drive to make things work the second way is to always see mistakes as opportunity for you to learn to grow and improve on yourself rather than see them as a failure because when you start to shift to have that learning mindset, you will enjoy the experience that you gain and also reward yourself of the efforts that you put in because it's the journey that counts that make you become a better version of yourself. The third way is to focus on the positives instead of the negative. Like for example, you can always think that what are the three things that you appreciate most? that you feel that you have that sense of accomplishment to reward yourself of putting the efforts to make things work. And that matters because it will literally shift your mindset to think positively instead of having a negative mindset. The fourth way is to set reasonable goals using the SMART model, which is S specific, M measurable, A achievable, are relevant and T is time bound. By aligning your goals to be smart, you are actually framing yourself that you can achieve certain milestones in your life by being realistic to yourself. Instead of setting high expectations that may lead to disappointment if that results doesn't turn out to be what you expected. Now, the last way is to learn how to receive constructive criticism and don't take it personally. Now, why? Because as a perfectionist, you do have a high standard of expectations of how things should be done in a certain way. And when somebody criticizes you, you will tend to take it personally and say that, no, I don't agree with it. So you have to learn to take a step back to receive that constructive criticism so that you can always improve on yourself to do better next time. I hope this video gives you a perspective of how you can start to gradually shift your mindset to eliminate perfectionism in your life so that you can slowly become a progressionist and do things one at a time and manage your expectations so that it can be realistic for you to achieve your goal. If you enjoyed this video, please do remember to click on the subscribe button below, give me a thumbs up and share with me in the comments whether this video is useful for you so that I can do more of this video just to benefit you. And that's all for now and I'll see you in my next video.